Ah, don't forget it. Don't forget it. What's up guys, I'm Random Frank P here with another random tech haul for June. I try to do these each month and sometimes they're a big unboxing, so this one's just gonna be a big tech haul. And $10,000 worth of stuff here. My wallet's definitely crying, but let me know down below uh, by hitting that thumbs up button. If you guys like these tech haul slash unboxing videos, this is all the stuff that I got in while I was away on my honeymoon. So when I got back, tons of stuff here to go over and I definitely unboxed the majority of it. So hence the name of the tech haul. We're gonna go over it all for you guys today, show it all off so you guys can get kind of a glimpse of some things that I picked up and what are coming uh, forward to the channel pretty soon. So first off, uh, this one is pretty cool for me. Um, I know I'm all about it. Vive Pro, all right. I still use my Vive probably like once a week or so. I try to, you know, play some games with it or just get in the whole VR space because I still enjoy it. And I've, I've seen some hype around the Vive Pro, checked it out at CES and uh, I think it retails for like $1,200, but I got a pretty damn good deal on this on eBay because recently for like a Father's Day hype, they had a thing where you can get 20% off. So I was like, whoa, all right, whoa, all right, whoa, all right. And I got this for I think around, like 650, so it was pretty much like half off. I could be off of my retail price, but uh, I wanted to get this in because, like I said, I'm still all about VR. And the big difference now uh, with this versus the original is it's a it's a higher resolution. I don't know exactly right off the bat, or off the top of my head, what the increase is. I unbox this upside down. Starting off good. Yeah, on the box, it says 2880 by 1600, which is 1440 by 1600 per eye uh, AMOLED display. So that's definitely, I think it was like 40% higher uh, pixels than the original Vive. So uh, when I was messing around with this, definitely a nice little increase there for resolution. Definitely looks a lot sharper. Um, not as big of a difference, I was hoping, but uh, it's still pretty cool. I'm not going to put it on right now because then it would mess up, you know, the hair and all that. Uh, but definitely cool to get this in. A nice, like I said, a nice little increase uh, for those VR games. So pumped to get this at a pretty good price. I'll just put this uh, here on display for the time being. Next up is something from Corsair. They just released. So by the time you're seeing this, uh, this should definitely have been past the embargo. They just released two new updates to their keyboards. This is the K70 RGB Mark II, and they also just put out the Strafe Mark II. Um, I think what the main difference is here is now you have all the switch types available to you. So it's the same K70 that you're used to, but now you're not limited to just red, browns, and blues. They got the whole thing out there. They got the uh, the silent, the speed switches. I have it here in blue to show off, uh, but I'm pretty pumped to check this out on the channel. If you, do, if you guys do wanna see like a full in-depth review on the Mark II series and really what's, you know, new, uh, let me know. But uh, yeah, cool that they're still, you know, continuing the whole product line and kind of making it better for everyone out there who want different types of switches. So now you're not limited. You have the whole lineup for you. Next up, I had to put this one off camera because yeah. It's a big box. So um, every month, as you guys know, I do a Cool Tech Under 50 episode, or sometimes Cool Tech Under 25. And I spend a lot of time on Amazon trying to find some really cool stuff for you guys for that series. And recently I bought a ton of stuff for uh, the July episodes. I'm not gonna go over it all here because that would kind of be spoiling it. Should have thought about that one. But to give you kind of a rundown real quick, we got some like mobile accessories for gaming. Um, and this is actually, I'll give you a little glimpse now. I'm not gonna go over it all, but uh, we have a mouse and keyboard RGB combo here that I think was like $35. Um, one thing I can show you guys is this new little unboxing knife I got. This video is probably horrendous already. This is just, this is not feeling like a, a, a good video. But that's okay. So got this little new unboxing knife. I, know, I was all about like the, the cherry stained uh, wood finish here. Nice little tiny discreet. I don't know. I was looking for a new uh, new EDC carry, you know? Anyways, now you're probably wondering right now, okay, you said this is $10,000 worth of stuff, but so far, not really adding up. I did it. I did it. I had to do it. This is the Canon C200. Uh, yeah. So for the first time in a long time, since December of 2015, I'm gonna be upgrading the camera for the channel. I've been using the Blackmagic Ursa Mini. Um, I love it, 
but it's just, it's time for an upgrade, I think. And I got this also for a pretty damn good deal. Uh, my buddy, Jonathan Casey, you know, OT4 Tech, he sold this to me for a pretty good price. It was practically brand new. He's more of a red user, so he didn't really have uh, much room for this, I guess. And uh, it's gonna take a while for me to kind of adjust. I've actually used a few clips of this in some recent videos. You probably won't even notice the difference though because right now, like adjusting to this whole new ecosystem of Canon is actually a lot harder than I thought because I'm so used to the workflow of the Ursa Mini. Uh, so you probably didn't notice any of the clips that I used this with, but there is a, a pretty big learning curve ahead. And uh, what I like about the C200 is it's just so compact and I don't know, you're getting really, really great quality out of this if I could unleash that potential. And it's kind of like red cameras in the sense that it's modular, you can build it up. So with this, I can take off this, uh, the hand rest here, I could take off the top handle, take off the LCD monitor, and just have this really small body. This is it built up right now. Uh, when I had this uh, at my doorstep and I returned from my honeymoon, it was very, very exciting. So I got it all built up for you, hence why I didn't do an unboxing for this, but yeah. Canon C200 got everything that really this camera is lacking. And now we're gonna get that really nice, clean Canon color on uh, the color signs out of this is gonna be awesome. But uh, I'm still gonna use the Ursa Mini for a while. Like I said, it's gonna take me probably a month or so to fully adjust all the workflow, but I'm really pumped for this. This retails for, I believe, uh, $7,500 or $7,500, 7500 isn't that really weird? But definitely pumped for this. Um, okay, next up, you guys gotta keep this hush-hush. What's in this box is extremely exciting. Can't talk about it now. You'll see a video on this in around two weeks. But all I'm gonna say is, get your wallets ready. This is awesome. And, uh, yeah, I, I, I have to leave it at that. I can't say much else. But judging by the box size, you probably, probably know what it is. All right, so you've seen the three stripes over here. Not gonna be a big focus here, and I, I promise I'm not a sneakerhead, but uh, Adidas also had this crazy sale. Uh, the code was like, get it now a few weeks ago, and they had a lot of shoes already discounted, plus an additional like 30% off. And I, I'm like I said, I'm not a sneakerhead at all. I've honestly had the same pairs of shoes like the past like five, six years now. So I don't give a shit really about, <laughs> about shoes at all. But I was like, you know what? Adidas got some good stuff out there. I haven't upgraded or bought anything new in a long time. So I got the, they were like 55 bucks a piece once all these sales were done. So I got four, probably only gonna keep, keep two because I got two in uh, black, two in white, as you'll see. I'll keep the best that I like out of here. So first off, these are these are ones that I'm not 100% sure about. All right, not 100% sure here. These are the uh, NMD R1. I don't know, but online they look pretty nice and they still do look pretty good. They feel extremely comfortable, but it's the color is kind of off than what I was hoping. As you can see, um, I don't really know. It looks like it's kind of being blown out here, but it's more of like a taupe color than white and gray. And I'm really not in love with the, with the pink inserts here, but they are very comfortable. Uh, just not what I was fully hoping for. So we have those here for now. Uh, like I said, probably gonna return one pair of white, one pair of black, and just keep the one that I like the best. Next up, all right, these are also a candidate possibly to get returned. Hold on. These are the Profears in black, if that's how you say it. Um, again, these looked better online than when I got them. I really wasn't in love with these, uh, with the little straps here like this, because it just kind of looks odd, because they like kind of stand up. Um, but they're... Pretty cool, pretty cool looking, but I just don't think I'm in love with them. And oddly enough, these two are on top. These are probably the two that I'm gonna be returning. I'm a simple guy. So next up are the, EQ, the uh, EQTs in black. These are probably the ones that I'm gonna keep. Uh, just more simple looking, you know? And I realize these probably look massive. I am a size 13, so yeah. But I do like these better because they're just more my style. They can kind of go with more. I feel like these are, these kind of, aren't my style in a way, I don't know. So definitely digging these. Let me know what you guys think. As a matter of fact, let me know in the comments down below which which two are your favorite. And maybe I'll, I'll see what you guys say and put that into uh, put that into perspective. And these are honestly the same exact shoe, but in white. <laughs> like I said, these were all 55 bucks on that sale a few months or a few weeks ago at this point. 
but I really do just feel like I like the, the simple white EQTs and the black EQTs versus these kind of different ones. But at the same time, these are kind of like out of my comfort zone. Like they're not really shoes that I would usually buy. So maybe that's why I don't like them. But uh, let me know what you guys think. Comment, like I said, comment down below on which, which ones are your favorites and maybe I'll take them into consideration. But uh, yeah, $10,000 worth of tech just like that. I know it's not a lot. I know in previous unboxing videos, I've had like tons of things, but when you factor in this camera and this and some other stuff that I got on Amazon that you can't see until the top tech under 50 episodes come out. And I'm also gonna do a top tech or a cool tech under $25 for July. So I've been stocking up on a ton of stuff for this series. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this little, you know, tech haul for uh, June already. Like I said, also let me know down below if you want to see me do these every month. I've been trying to do monthly for the past two or three months now. So let me know if you like more of an unboxing video or just like a random tech haul like this. So hope you guys enjoyed. If you want to check any of this stuff out that I did show you, I will put it all listed in the description down below and keep an eye out less than two weeks. That mystery box. You're going to want to see that video. Trust me. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up to show your support. Feel free to follow me on Twitter at random Frank P. And lastly, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Well, I'm Random Frank P. Hope you enjoyed. Have a good day.